Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you basic concepts of bar binding scheduling. Okay, so I will cover you some of the formulas which is related to bar binding scheduling and some of the important concepts that we have to consider before bar binding scheduling for a project. Okay, so click on this PDF option. So in this video, I will cover this respected contents which is related to the diameter of the reinforcement bars and the standard length of the bar and weight of the bar per meter and cutting length of the bar and hook type bending type and overlapping length and concrete cover and spacing number of the bars that is required for the respected member and cutting length of the stirrup and cutting length of the mesh bar and type of the reinforcement bars okay so let's start with the diameter of the reinforcement bars so basically for designing of any kind of the structure or any kind of the building models basically we will use this respected number of the bars which is related to the 6 mm diameter 8 mm diameter 10 mm diameter 12 mm diameter 16 mm diameter 20 mm diameter 25 mm 28 32 36 40 mm diameter bar depends upon the building type and uh, or depends upon the project type we will consider these respected bars okay so now i will explain you what is the standard length of the uh, bar okay so basically for the standard length of the bar it will be consisting of approximately the length as 40 feet okay so which is approximately equal to 12 meter we will consider for standard length of the bar okay so 40 feet uh, is one case and 12 meter length is one case for the respected for single bar length okay so now i will explain you what is the weight of the bar per meter length so basically as per the bar binding scheduling we will consider the weight of the bar per meter is d square by 162 formula okay so this is the basic formula we will use for calculating the weight of the bar whether it is comes under your 8 mm bar or 6 mm bar or 4 uh, 12 mm bar or 16 mm bar 20 mm bar so this is the basic formula we will use for calculating the uh, weight of the bar okay so for example just i am considering the 10 mm diameter bar so weight of that respected bar which is equals to 10 square by 162 which is approximately equal to 0 0.6172 kg so this is the basic formula we will use it for calculating the weight of the bar okay so now i will explain you cutting length of the bar so basically the cutting length will be consisting of the two types okay one is hook type and another one is bend type okay so hook type will be consisting of your respected diagram here like this so this is the diameter of the bar and this is the length of the bar and cutting length which is related to your respected bend type will be consisting of here like this okay so if you want to calculate the cutting length for the respected hook type bar let us consider this is the length of the bar we have to calculate the length of the hook initially okay so length of the hook is equals to 9 times of the d okay where d is the diameter of the bar okay so length of the main bar which is having the formula here like this which is equals to l plus 90 plus 90 so l is the length from the starting point to ending point for this respected hook and 90 is the uh, length of the hook for the respected left hand side section as well as right hand side section so the total length of the uh, respected main bar from the starting point to ending point is approximately l plus 90 plus 90 where d is the diameter okay so this is the basic formula we will use for calculating the uh, length of the main bar which is related to the hook type okay now i will explain you for the respected bend type so let us consider this is the bend type bar we will use for uh, reinforcement bars which is related to the foundation section so length of the bent up bar will be depends upon the 10 times of the d to 16 times of the d okay this respected length okay length of this respected bent bar will be depends upon the diameter of the bar so basically we will consider here as 9 times of the d to 12 times of the d so length of the main bar from the starting point to length of the main bar from the ending point which is equals to just i am taking 12 d as the average for this respected values so let us consider so length of the main bar from the starting point to length of the main bar from the ending point is l plus 12 d 12 d okay basically i am considering for this respected bar as example so which is approximately equal to some value if you consider the 10 mm diameter bar the length of the bar will be consisting of length of the starting point to ending point for this respected member plus 12 times of the d okay so now i will explain you what is mean by overlapping okay so overlapping is nothing but the joining the one member to the another member so basically this respected concept is uh, required if the length of the bar is less than the required dimensions okay so for example let us consider just i am trying to constructing a building which is related to the g plus of uh, three structural model so for this respected g plus three structural model the height of the building will be consisting of 12 meter okay so 12 meter plus we need to consider the plinth level also so for that respected building section plinth level just i am taking 3 meter length the total height of the building will be consisting of 15 meter let us consider 
so for this respected 15 meter length bar basically as per the standard it will be consisting of the uh, length of the bar is approximately of 12 meter okay but additionally it is required three meet three more meter length for the respected bar okay so for that respected three more length uh, meter bar we need to join the respected main bar with another cutting bar okay so for that respected section we need to overlap the one bar to another bar okay so this is the basic concept we will use for the respected bars which is related to the beams columns as well as your respected slab section okay so the overlapping length will be also exist for the respected foundation okay so this is the overlapping length we will use for example for the foundation section so for this respected section the neck column to foundation overlapping length okay the neck column is nothing but the starting point of this respected point to overlapping length of the column which is approximately equal to we will consider 40d to 50d where d is the diameter of the bar we will use basically if you use the respected 12 mm diameter bar we will use the overlapping length is four times of the uh, 12 mm diameter which is approximately equal to 480 mm so basically the length of the starting point to ending point of the overlapping we will use as 480 mm for the respected member okay so in the same process column to column or beam to beam overlapping length will be consisting of 50d so if you consider the 10 mm diameter bar for the respected column section we will take 50 types of the D which is equals to 50 multiplied by 12 which is approximately equal to 600 mm. Basically, we will use 600 mm for the overlapping length of that respected column to column beam, okay, or beam to beam, okay. So, the development length for the dowel bar. Basically, the dowel bar is nothing but the uh, section which is there from the starting point to ending point for this respected member, okay. This respected dowel bar member which is equals to 16 times of the D. So, if you consider the 10 mm diameter bar, the starting point to ending point of this respected dowel bar will be used as 16 multiplied by 10 which is equals to 160 mm for this respected member, okay. Okay. So, this is the concept which is related to the overlapping length. Okay. So, next one is concrete cover. So, basically for the respected member, basically we have to provide the cover for the respected member whether it is beam or column or foundation or slab. We will consider minimum cover. Okay. So, as per the consideration for the footing, we will consider the 50 mm cover and column section 40 mm cover and beam section and 25 mm cover, slab section 20 mm cover and staircases we will use as 15 mm cover and Chaja we will use as 15 mm cover and pile section we will use as 16 mm cover and pile cap foundation we will use as 16 mm cover okay so these are the basic standard uh, values which is used for concrete cover sections okay so now i will explain you spacing okay so initially i will explain you what is the mean by spacing section okay so spacing is nothing but the the distance between any kind of the reinforcing bars whether it is column or beam basically we will use for the stirrup section for the spacing section okay so basically the stirrups will be say spaced at a distance of some x and y z distance okay so basically the distance between the two reinforcement bars we will call as spacing okay so for example we will use the spacing between the bars is 100 mm 110 mm 150 mm 180 mm depends upon your building design considerations okay so this is the spacing and now i will explain you number of bars so number of bars for the respected member is approximately equal to opposite side length divided by spacing plus one okay so spacing we will consider initially and opposite bar length we will consider then after that we have to add that respected ratio with one okay so that it can get the number of the bars okay so number of the stirrups okay basically we will use the number of the stirrups formula is actual length of the column or beam divided by spacing plus one okay so if you want Want to calculate the stirrup section basically we had to use uh, length of the column or beam section divided by spacing spacing is nothing but the center to center distance between the uh, each reinforcement bars for the respected member okay we need to add that respected member with one so that it can get the number of the stirrups okay now i will explain you cutting length for the stirrup sections okay so cutting length of the stirrup section which is equals to perimeter of the shape plus hook length okay minus total bend length okay basically we will use this respected formula for calculating the cutting length of the stirrup section okay so perimeter of the shape is nothing but whether it is comes under your respected column or beam it is having rectangular shape or square shape or uh, circular shape or etc okay so basically the perimeter of the rectangular section will be considered as which is equals to two times of the length plus breadth of that respected rectangular bar and perimeter of the square section we will consider as four times of the side length okay so basically for the respected square length which is having same values which is related to the side as a so if you consider the area of that respected section we will take as a square okay 
So for that respected perimeter square length, we will consider four types of the A. Let us consider. And perimeter of the circular section, we will consider as pi, uh, 2 pi R, which is equals to pi D. Okay. Where R is the radius and D is the diameter of the circle. Okay. So this is the basic formula we will use for the respected cutting length of the stirrup sections. Okay. So now I will explain you cutting length of the mesh bar section. So, okay. Basically, we will use this respected type of the mesh bar section for the respected foundation. Okay. So the length of the respected mesh bar section, which is equals to the starting point to ending point of this respected bar in horizontal and vertical section which is equals to length minus two times of the length of the uh, semicircular section okay so if you consider this respected bar section okay the starting point to ending point uh, we need to consider the distance okay from this respected distance if you want to calculate the length of the stage bar which is equals to total length of this respected bar which is minus of uh, your respected two times of the length of this respected circle section perimeter okay Length of the semicircular section, which is equal to pi d by 2. Basically, we will use this respected formula, which is assumed as let us consider L2 section. Okay. Cutting length of the mesh bar section, which is equal to formula having L1 plus L2 plus two types of the hook lap multiplied by your respected two value. Okay. So basically, we will use this respected formula for calculating the cutting length of the mesh bar. Okay. So now I will explain you what are the different types of the reinforcement bars will be exist for the respected building design. So basically, if you design the respected building structure, we will use for the column sections and beam sections we will use fe 415 grade steel fe 500 grade steel and fe 550 grade steel for the respective reinforcement bars okay so these are the basic concepts which is related to the bar binding scheduling which is consisting of uh, diameter of the bar reinforcement section standard length and weight of the bar per meter cutting length which is related to the hook type and bend type overlapping length and concrete cover spacing number of the bars cutting length for the stirrup section cutting length for the mesh bar section and type of the reinforcement bars okay so if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you